Hi, my name's Anjali and I'm a first year student studying chemistry at Teddy Hall and I'm from London. So my course is four years long. The first three years are teaching and exams and the final year is a research project. And it's definitely quite demanding at times because we've got 12 hours of labs, 10 hours of lectures and also about two tutorials a week. But although it's demanding, we've got really great tutors at Teddy Hall who are definitely there to help, so don't be afraid to ask questions. So the most important part of a personal statement, I think, is being able to describe what skills you've gained from a certain work experience or activity you've mentioned, rather than just talking about what you've done. Um, for example, I did work experience in a lab as well as a hospital and I spoke about the different skills I've gained from each sector and also how they related to chemistry in their very different ways. So I had two interviews, both of which were at Teddy Hall. One was for maths and physical chemistry, whilst the other one was for organic and inorganic chemistry. And it can be quite nerve wracking when you first walk into the room, but the tutors definitely do try to make you feel at ease before you start answering the questions. The questions themselves can be quite hard, so don't be upset if you don't get the answer straight away. But definitely do try to think out loud so the tutors can see your thought processes and how you think because they're not looking for someone who's perfect. They're looking for someone who is willing to learn and adapt to the situation and also someone who they're going to be able to teach. Aside from the interviews, there's definitely a lot of time to socialise with the other students who might be doing your subject or going to the college next year. So going to the JCR or going for a walk with some friends is definitely a good idea because it can be nice to see some familiar faces at Freshers' Week. So the first thing I did was definitely celebrate, but after that I got my head down and finished my A-levels because the grade requirements were quite high. But once I got my official offer in August, they sent through some pre-reading which helped to bridge the gap between the, the A-levels and the first year course, and it was definitely helpful to have a read-through. So first and foremost, the tutors are really great and they're always there to help whenever you have any questions. Outside of that, Teddy Hall has a really lively and sporty environment with clubs ranging from netball to football through to rugby. And there are so many other things you can get involved in like Teddy Hall Choir and other societies that are uni-wide and college-wide. Aside from that, Oxford is a really pretty city. So it's really nice to get out when you have some free time and go for a walk and maybe even go punting with some friends. So the first thing I say is definitely have a good look at the course prospectus which can be found on the university website. It gives a good insight into what the course entails and whether or not it will be right for you. Also bear in mind that maths and physics are very big parts of the chemistry course and although it is not a requirement to have done A-level physics, having some prior knowledge would definitely be helpful. If you have any more questions, please ask them in the comment section below and follow S at SEH Access on Instagram um, for more updates. Thank you.